Okay, now that we've looked at the use case, which is the user's perspective, we will move on to the workflow, which is the perspective of the designer. Uh, it's This is the person who is creating all the constraints, all the rules, uh, all the guidelines of what the user should do. This is really the, the business planning. So on the first step of this, uh, we determine what subset of pages on your site will trigger the interstitial. So you may not want every single page to uh, cause an interstitial to pop up. You only might want a subsection of your site. Uh, so this needs to be determined. Uh, this is the next thing to determine is what subset of users will be seeing the interstitial. Uh, you may not want every single user to qualify for seeing it. You may want only maybe people who are logged in or by a certain demographic. So you have to determine this beforehand. This, these are all business rules too. Uh, and this is information that the programmer needs to know uh, before he starts programming so he knows <coughs> how to write up the code. Uh, and then the next thing is uh, we need to know the entry point. The entry point event or the trigger of the event uh, in this case is a user browsing to a page or a particular page. Sometimes the trigger of a feature is uh, triggered by the state of your application or the state of your so database. Always the user who is triggering uh, a feature to be activated. We'll cover some of those types of features uh, sometime in the future here real soon. Okay, and you see that we are fleshing out the details a little bit further here. So what we have is a user browses to a page so we have to determine do we show them the interstitial or do we not so the first thing we have to do is check to see if uh, there is even an interstitial campaign that's live right now because uh, it could have been disabled or it could be disabled at or enabled at this particular point in time so the code will check that then next uh, if that's true if there are uh, interstitial campaigns going at the moment and then the next thing we need to check is to make sure that the user is a candidate for for viewing this. He, if he's one of the subset of people who who are to see uh, one of these interstitials, and to know if uh, they've seen it already, want to see it again, if that is what the business rule is, and if they have not seen it, well, we're going to send them over to the page so they will see it. So what we'll do is we will insert a cookie indicating that. Uh, they have seen the page and then we'll go ahead and do the redirect to that page and for analysis purposes we will insert a log entry into the database for this particular event we definitely want to uh, track the statistics of this feature